your nose, you're underestimating it. Previously, it was thought that we could only sniff out about 10,000 smells, but in 2014, researchers from the Rockefeller University and the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, well, they put together an experiment that would blow the ability to detect 10,000 smells out of the water. The researchers started with bottles full of 128 distinct familiar smells like grass and oranges and mixed up to 30 different chemicals with it to create unfamiliar smells. Then 26 study participants were asked to quaff three bottles of scents, two of which were exactly the same. After, researchers calculated the percentage of these mixtures that participants could distinguish. And then a mathematician took the data and figured out the number of possible unique odors that could be made from the mixtures of the 128 chemicals. One trillion, it turns out, though this isn't to say that wine connoisseurs should start using up to one trillion descriptors when describing their vino. The study was about distinguishing rather than identifying smells. And the study is by no means an indication that we're actually picking up on one trillion scents, only that one trillion is the upper limit of possible scents that can be detected. The study was devised more as a way to underscore the nuanced role that smell occupies in the human sensory world and to underscore that the 10,000 smell statistic is a discredited idea from the early 20th century. Now consider food and the role of your nose from the first inkling of, say, brownies baking to the moment that you bite into that chocolatey goodness, releasing the molecules of it, which travel to the back of the mouth and to the back of the nose, where a thatch of nerve cells uploads this directly into the brain. The tongue can only detect a few flavors like sweet, sour, salty, umami, and bitter. So everything else about that brownie that makes it a brownie is being detected by your nose. In other words, scent is largely the flavor we experience. Now that is something for the nose to put on its resume. In fact, your nose can even figure out the dietary fat and food entirely on its own without the aid of your mouth. Now, to test this out, researchers at the Monell Chemical Census Center recruited 108 people to take a whiff of samples of milk with differing amounts of fat in it. And the researchers found that participants could indeed distinguish between milk samples with higher fat content. Which is kind of amazing since milk isn't very volatile, meaning it doesn't spew forth a ton of microscopic particles into the air. This is like spidey sense level stuff here. And the reason may be because chemical detection is one of the oldest survival tools. It's even found in single cell life forms. And this has allowed all sorts of organisms to say detect an enemy, a possible mate, or a warm brownie which is something we take for granted when instead of having to forage for our food, we simply queue up in the buffet line. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at StuffToBlowYourMind.com. Ah, detecting smells. That is some root stuff. I'm talking about root to the ability to even think. One out of every 50 genes uh, in the human genome is related to um, our smell reception. Now in 2013, the Federal Mint produced 1,792,000,000 of these little guys, and each has a distinctive smell. But why?